Good morning, Spreckle Scholars. Happy Friday and happy Spirit Assembly. I am so excited that we get to share our virtual Spirit Assembly with you today. We want you to know how much we care about you all and how much we miss you all. And I'm sure that you will notice by all the things that all the different staff members have shared. So I want you to be very scholarly, sit back and relax and enjoy our virtual assembly. And remember to have a Merry Christmas, a Happy ha Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and any other holiday that you celebrate. We wish you a wonderful and safe vacation. Take care of each other, stay healthy and stay safe. And I can't wait until we're back at Spreckle School together again. Merry Christmas. Let's all stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Spreckle Scholars, it's your friendly TK and Kinder team. We are going to share a fun song with you today about Santa. So once you catch on, please join in with us. There is a man with a big white beard and Santa is his name. Oh, S-A-N-T-A, 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 and Santa is his name. Oh. There was a man with a big white beard, and Santa is his name, O. A N T A, A N T A, A N T A, and Santa is his name, O. There is a man with a big white beard, and Santa is his name, O. N T A, N T A, N T A, and Santa is his name, O. There is a man with a big white beard, and Santa is his name, O. T A, T A, T A, and Santa is his name, O. There is a man with a big white beard, and Santa is his name, O. A, 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 and Santa was his name, O. There is a man with a big white beard, and Santa is his name, O. And Santa is his name, O. Merry Christmas! Good morning, scholars. Mrs. Martignoni here, and I have a book to read to you today. It's not a traditional Christmas book, but it is a good a book about a gift, and the gift is you. The book is written by Joanna Gaines, illustrated by Juliana Sweeney, and the name of the book, the title of the book is The World Needs Who You Were Made to Be. And the author's note in the front cover says, I hope that you know and love who you are for all of the beautiful and unique and magical gifts you have to offer the world. May you always look at life with your eyes wide open. Be quick to learn from others and see and celebrate the differences in all of humanity. Be kind to others and to yourself and may you always believe that the world needs who you were made to be. Love, Joanna. Today is the day for the ride of our lives when a colorful confetti of color will fill up the sky. Plenty of pink, a bounty of blue, and orange, green, and yellow too. We all play a part 
both me and you, as we build our very own hot air balloons. We'll gather supplies and make them our own and prepare to take flight into the great unknown. It doesn't take us long to see that we all work so very differently. Some of us work alone and some of us work side by side. Some of us are quiet and like to think think things through, and others prefer to chit-chat about all we have to do. Some of us think through every possibility before we jump in, and some of us know what we like before we even begin. Sometimes we're scientific and rely on our smarts. Sometimes we're creative and lean into the arts. Some of us are teachers and share what we know, but all of us are learners. Together is how we grow. So by now you can probably see how we all work so very differently. We've done our very best and now it's time to fly. See how beautiful it can be when our differences share the same sky? We may not look or work or think the same, but we all have an important part to play. All of us can be kind, compassionate, and gracious. All of us can be helpful, considerate, and courageous. So remember who you are. This is your life to live. Don't ever hold back. You have so much to give. You're one of a kind, and it's so clear to see the world needs who you were made to be. So your gift Maybe it's arts, maybe it's smarts, maybe it's engineering. Remember, you are a gift. Happy holidays. to share with you some of our family's special Christmas traditions. One of the things we love to do every year is decorate our tree and we each have special ornaments. This ornament here is the ornament Mr. Dickinson and I bought the very first year we were married 42 years ago. It always goes on the tree first. It is a special ornament for our family tree. This is my favorite ornament, and it is special to me because it is my very first Christmas ornament that my parents got the year I was born. 
I bet you have some special family traditions that you'll like to share with us. Here's another. So, I don't know if you know this, but does, can anyone guess where Mrs. Dickerson was born? If you guessed England, you got it right. And we bought a special family tradition and a tradition that's celebrated all over England on Christmas, and that is the breaking of the Christmas cracker. Every Christmas, our family gathers around the tree and opens up a Christmas cracker. We're going to show you how we do it. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! And the gift always goes flying across the room. This time it's way over there, but it's a little thimble. Inside the Christmas cracker, there's also a paper hat that we always wear to Christmas dinner and also a funny little joke or saying. So here's the joke from our cracker this year. Why did the tur turkey join the band? I don't know why. Because it had drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes are always kind of silly like that, but they're so much fun. So we hope you are enjoying some lots and lots of special Christmas traditions. And if you have a favorite ornament, email me a picture. I'd love to see it. Thank you, scholars. We Happy really holidays. Really Happy holidays. <laughs> Hi, Pirates. Mrs. Martin Yoni here. And I have a holiday joke for you. Why was the snowman digging through the bag of carrots? Hmm. He was picking his nose. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. On the first day of Google Meets, this is what was said. Is it time for breakout rooms? On the second day of Google Meet, this is what was said. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms? On the third day of Google Meet, this is what was said. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms? On the fourth day of Google Meet, this is what was said. Look at my elf. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms? On the fifth day of Google Meet, this is what was said. Turn off your mic. Look what my elf did. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms? On the sixth day of Google Meet, this is what was said. Can you see my loose tooth? Turn off your mic. My elf brought me treats. 
you're still on mute. No internet. And it's still not time for breakout rooms. On the seventh day of Google Meet, this is what was said. My screen is glitching. Can you see my loose tooth? Turn off your mic. Look what my elf did. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms yet? On the eighth day of Google Meet, this is what was said. Turn on your cameras. My screen is glitching. Can you see my loose tooth? Turn off your mic. My elf got a cat. You're still on mute. And there's no internet. And it's not time for breakout rooms yet. On the ninth day of Google Meets, this is what was said. Is it time for break yet? Turn on your cameras. My screen is glitching. Can you see my loose tooth? Turn off your mic. Look where my elf hid. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms now? On the 10th day of Google Meet, this is what was said. I can't hear you. When is the break? I need to see your faces. My screen is glitching. Can you see my loop? Turn off your mic. Look what my elf did. You're still on mute. No internet. Is it time for breakout rooms now? On the 11th day of Google Meet, this is what was said. Look at my dog. I can't hear you. When is the break? My camera's not even working. My screen is glitching. Turn off your mic. We'll see your elf later. You're still on mute. No internet. But it's almost time for breakout rooms now. On the 12th day of Google Meets, this is what was said. This is my hot cocoa. Look at my dog. I can't hear you. I'm taking my break. Is anybody even there? My screen is glitching. I lost my tooth. Turn off your mic. My elves and I, we can't wait for Christmas. You're still on mute. And there's no more internet. But it's finally time for breakout rooms.